it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I have my finale for Zodiac Painter. This is a project that was created by Kana for the Fantastic Ladies. And she basically found colors that coordinate with each of the Zodiac signs and you kind of pan, plan, panned around those. So you could have done beauty, skincare, hair care, makeup, etc. I joined, I wasn't even gonna do this project, let me tell you. And then I got FOMO. <laughs> Danny kept asking me, you know, do you wanna do Zodiac, do you wanna do Zodiac? And I was like, no, I don't wanna do Zodiac, I can't, I'm doing too much. And then I was, saw everybody's intros and I was like, gosh darn it, I gotta do Zodiac. So I did Zodiac. And I worked on 12 different shades in my Litless palette. That was the one caveat. It's like it has to be an all-in-one palette if I'm going to do this. So when I saw you guys, I believe it was in December, I thought I would be done by the end of January. I was not. I'm done yesterday. So as of January 12th, filming this on the 13th, I hit the final three shades in my palette. So I'm going to show you all of them. I'm going to put up pictures of the last three. But this is what my palette is looking like now. It had one use on it when I started this project. I've hit 12 pans in this project. I've hit one, two, three, four, four outside this project. I'm currently working on one, two, three, four to hit pan. So my goal by the end of the year is to have pan in every shadow. And I have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen shades to go. One of them being a black. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Oh, and I'll have an empty shade because my goal is to finish bubbly. So that is the palette. So let's talk numbers. Now I have not been tracking the last few weeks, I'm not gonna lie. And on top of that, this doesn't mean how many times I reached into the shadow. This means how many looks they were in. And that's something I want to talk about after we talk numbers. So we'll start with the three that were done. Libra, which was Fall All Off Fierce. Um, I believe I used 15 times. Uh, what was the other one? Tinsel, which was that light green. I used about 12 times and then Leo the orange one I used about 14 times and that's kind of on par for what happened so Aries was eight uses um, Taurus was 11 use okay Aries was the red and that was gumdrop eight uses Taurus was a pastel pink it was either pastel pink blue I think 11 um, Gemini which was yellow was eight Cancer, which was sent to script boot, was 12. Um, I talked about Leo. Virgo, which was dark brown, that was crazy, was 12. Um, Scorpio, which was a red, like a dark maroon, was 9. Um, Sagittarius was 13, I think. Um, Capricorn was 9. And then Aquarius was 9. So, no, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. So around the 11, like 10 to 15, 10 to 15 use mark. So that is it. That is the end of this project. This project ends in March. It started in March, which was, no, we started like right on the cusp of Aries season and we're finishing in Pisces or it finishes in Pisces season. So yeah, but I'm finishing in Capricorn season. <laughs> I'm technically finishing in a Capricorn season. So my question to you, and again, I think I mentioned in the video that, you know, I pan for me, I, I video for you guys. This is, you know, I inter it's to entertain you. Are you entertained? <laughs> what's that movie from? Or what's that line from? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, sorry, I, um, straighten out my hair after it was in a kind of clip while it was drying and it's a little frizzing. Anyway, Missy, stay on course, stay on track. <sighs> tracking. So I haven't been tracking this year at all and I think that's part of the reason why I feel like I'm 10 years behind it's because I haven't even set up a notebook for 2023. But Jessica and I were talking and she's like, do you like tracking? Like, is that something you like to do? And I think if she had asked me that question last year and I would have said absolutely because at last year I had no idea 
I had no idea how long it would take me to hit pan in a bronzer. I had no idea how long it would take me to hit pan in an eyeshadow. I mean, if you saw my how many pans I hit in 2022, I mentioned that I hadn't hit pan in any kind of powder product until I hit pan in that eyeshadow and that was back in January and I'd been using it since April. So I felt like I wanted to use 2022 to kind of give me an idea of how long things took. Now that I'm trying to hit 200 pans and now that I'm painting like 200 eyeshadows, which is not a lie. <laughs> now they're not all the hit pan, but I'm painting like I'm I'm trying I'm I'm painting a lot. So I don't know how feasible it is for me to try to track so many items but in that same vein if that's something that you guys really enjoy hearing I would be happy to um and maybe I won't use a notebook maybe I'll just print them out like Danny does these are deep thoughts <laughs> so leave me your opinions in the comments down below I'm really interested to know so that's it. Um, if you saw a deck of painting that went up, the next video you should see will be Paranormal Pantivity and then um, Old New Gifted Blue, which will also be something you'll want to watch. <laughs> I almost spoiled it, then I'll stop myself from spoiling it. But yeah, that's it. So just let me know what your feelings are in regards to tracking. Um, I think with Sonia, I was having a conversation because it's like, it's not how many times I actually used this shadow. It's how many looks it was in. So if I put down, I've used this shadow nine times, I could have dipped into it 18, 20 times, but I've only worn it in nine looks. So that's kind of where my kind of, it feels like a gray area and I am very much someone who needs black and white. So yeah, I'd like to know. Let me know your, your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. So a huge thank you to Kana. A huge thank you to all the other ladies that were in this collab. I believe I have everyone listed in the description box down below. Um, this was a fun one. And I am so glad to have a palette in my, in my collection that looks so loved. And may possibly have every single pan minus that red glitter um, by the end of the year. So that would be real cool. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, like I said, leave me your, your comments, your inspiration, your, your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram. I'm at Misty Pans. I've actually been posting. I'm like, who am I? I don't even know. But yeah, um, I love your faces. I hope you have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Bye for now.